The WikiLeaks document dumps have been devastating to Hillary and her campaign. The mountains of incriminating information confirm what we already know. Hillary is, by far, the most corrupt human being to ever seek any political office, let alone the presidency. And just when you think we've heard it all, something else comes out. Well, another scandal has surfaced. Basically, what we have is money changing hands tied directly to investigations into Hillary's criminal behavior. Meet Terry McAuliffe. He's the governor of Virginia, but more importantly, he's a friend, ally, and crony of the Clintons. He authorized his political action committee to contribute around $675,000 in cash and other in-kind donations to the campaign of Dr. Jill McCabe, a Democrat running for a Senate seat in the Virginia State Legislature. She lost to the incumbent, Republican Dick Black. But what you need to know is that Jill McCabe is the wife of Andrew McCabe, who at the time was an associate deputy director of the FBI. Shortly after Jill McCabe lost her election, Andrew McCabe was promoted to deputy director, making him number two in the FBI under only director James Comey, and as a result was handed full oversight of the FBI's investigation into Hillary's criminal activity. As deputy director, McCabe reported to Comey and maybe even advised him concerning Hillary's case. Here's a few more facts. President Obama said he had no knowledge of Hillary's private server and learned about it on the news. We now know Barack I did know and even emailed Hillary's private server using an alias. And as leader of the executive branch, he certainly can pull strings to steer the investigation into a desired direction. So between Obama's involvement, an unprecedented recommendation from FBI Director James Comey not to indict, a secret meeting of Bill Clinton and Attorney General Loretta Lynch on the tarmac in Phoenix, and a man paid off on the inside, Hillary had this thing covered six ways from Sunday. To say the fix was in is an understatement. Despite mountains of incriminating evidence, Hillary was never going to be indicted. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.